in the previous video, our vampire Jonathan turns Aloysius Dawson into a vampire and goes to report back to Lord Redgrave. This is where Jonathan's night begins. Let's return to the Lord Redgrave. Of course, Saya. Of course, indeed, Saya. Oh, I didn't know Lord Redgrave was here. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as Aloysius. expected? Yes, my lord. Ascalon has a new recruit, as you ordered. Wonderful news. I've waited for this outcome for so long. Tonight you served your country, the king himself, beyond all expectation. Thank you, my lord. No, thank you, Dr. Reed. Now, could you do me one last favor? Of course. What is it? Go outside and talk with that disgusting creature I saw waiting for you in front of this mansion. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll have a look. Good. I didn't kill her on the spot, for she claims to be a friend of yours. But don't you dare bring such a creature near me again. Who is at the door? Who could it possibly... Bridget. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago. Wanting to meet the Sewer Skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Oh, man. Tell her I worry about her. Tell her we need to talk. Tell her I worry about her. Do not. For she has had strength and wisdom for so much longer than you. Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Shoot. Look like there is war coming. Before that, I have to re go back all the way to. Oh my. Such a far way. Take the boat. All right, Pembroke, we are back. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that more often. I would talk, guys. Doctor Swansea, I'm back. I don't know where I've been. Come on with these loads. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Oh, come on. Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. That's not it. He's wounded. My master. Hey guys, a quick little question. Are you guys getting a PS5 or Xbox? Let me know. Me, I'm going to wait and see how things turn out. Probably save up for one. But uh, I'd like to know in the comments below. PS5 or Xbox? Looks like a boss fight. Ah! 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 
Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Calcum powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts your hand. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. I guess I'll it. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Come on. Oh. This bite is useless on me. Close your eyes. Finally. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! Bring it. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're not to be hunted, just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed uh, my old man uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, 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 Welcome to the world through the looking glass. That was a rough one, guys. Science for Dark Conscience. Reach the doors. Reach the doors. Really? I go back to Doris' theater? After I got my butt kicked there? I don't really know if I want to head back there.
feel like I'm becoming more evil by the minute, guys. Hmm. Yep, we'll stop right there. My guy look like he's Right. Let's head to the Doors Theater. Maybe if I don't want to. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I can teleport from here to the other side. Rewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Dr. Swan! I'm here to save you. I got pretty annoyed, so I just had to end it. Oh, come on. Swansea, are you in here? It's locked, all right. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. I'll 
sent you to hell. Come on, come on. It's locked, all right. Come in, Doctor. I cannot enter. Why not? Oh, then I kick your butt in there. Come on, come on. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep Edgar. that in mind. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. Never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would uh, dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. 
While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Yes, your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. <laughs> but I swear, it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. you, you and the lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... guys I had to put them out good or bad you guys can let me know I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time in the next vampire everyone stay safe now so Jonathan embraces Swansea and then he has to speak to Lady Ashbury but what Jonathan Connor next who will he meet to be continued